For a long time now, Toyota has been researching alternative fuels for its cars. Toyota has been looking for ways to replace its dependence on petrol and has been researching hybrid cars since the 1990s, when they introduced the Prius in 1997. Since then, the premier automaker has come a long way and there are now reports that it has developed a new hybrid engine that could be a game changer. So what is this new Toyota hybrid engine? Let's take a look in today's video. Before we begin this video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. That way, you'll never miss a video from us. With that said, let's get into it. Toyota is all set to develop a car that runs on both electricity and hydrogen, hence the term hybrid. Now, cars that use hydrogen are known as fuel cell cars. The interesting thing about fuel cell cars is that they do not need to burn hydrogen, rather they are powered by compressed hydrogen gas that feeds into an onboard fuel cell stack. The fuel's chemical energy is then converted into electrical energy that drives an electric motor. The fuel cell is very similar to the battery in construction. There is an anode and cathode. Hydrogen enters the anode when it comes in contact with a catalyst that promotes the separation of hydrogen atoms into an electron and proton. The electrons are gathered by the conductive current collector which is connected to the car's high voltage circuitry feeding the onboard battery and the motors that turn the wheels. The main components in a fuel cell car include the fuel cell stack, which aggregates many fuel cells that combine oxygen and hydrogen to generate electricity and power the electric motor. There is also the fuel tank where the hydrogen gas is stored. It is made of carbon fiber reinforced material for enhanced protection. You also have the electric motor that powers the car using energy produced in the fuel cell stack. Fuel cell cars are also use a battery for storing energy from regenerative braking and providing additional power to the electric motor. You also will find an exhaust on a fuel cell car. Instead of greenhouse gases, the byproduct of the reaction occurring in the fuel cell stack is water vapor which is emitted through the exhaust. As such, hydrogen fuel cell cars are zero emission cars. So basically, just like electric cars, there are no moving parts but you refuel the hydrogen through a pump just like you put gas into an internal combustion engine. Now, there are many reasons of using a hydrogen fuel car. The most obvious one is the environment. Hydrogen fuel cells don't generate harmful emissions as the only byproducts are heat and water. There is also the advantage of robust reliability. The technology itself has been proven to be very reliable even in tough conditions. They can work with no issues in environments as cold as minus 40 degrees Celsius or in hot weather. In this aspect, hydrogen fuel cell cars are better than electric cars that suffer from performance issues when in cold or hot weather. Apart from the robust technology, hydrogen fuel cells have improved efficiency. The U.S. Department of Energy says hydrogen fuel cells have between 40 and 60 percent energy efficiency. One important advantage of fuel cells over battery electric vehicles is the hydrogen fuel cell cars can be easily and quickly refueled. You can get a full tank of hydrogen in under five minutes instead of an hour using the fastest charger to charge an EV. Because of the flammability of hydrogen, some people assume hydrogen fuel cell cars are not as safe. However, Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell is by all means safer than even internal combustion engine cars. For example, the hydrogen fuel cell tank in the Toyota Mirai is pressured up to 10,000 PSI and hydrogen is 16 times lighter than air. So if a tank gets punctured or otherwise compromised, the hydrogen gas would immediately dissipate in the atmosphere before getting a chance to combust. Toyota's hydrogen tanks are even safer since they use highly durable carbon fiber material that has been tested in deliberate crashes and even with bullets. Toyota said the tanks are made from woven fiber cover. The tanks are lined on the inside with plastic and bounced off the bullets when shot at. A company rep said it wasn't until the test was upgraded to high-caliber armor-piercing rounds that the tank was breached and they had to shoot at the same spot twice. However, Toyota has added to the Mirai other safety guards like an electronic system that will automatically shut down any hydrogen line when it detects a leak. As a result of this quality build, the fuel cell stack in a Toyota Mirai will last for the lifetime of the car. It is as durable and reliable as other Toyota cars. The company offers a 100,000-kilometer warranty, showing how much confidence it has in the car. 
When the fuel stack nears the end of its line, it can either be repurposed in other applications or disposed of safely and responsibly. So Toyota's new hybrid engine could herald an era of hybrid cars alongside electric cars. If the project goes ahead and more developments are made, Toyota can get an upper hand in the hybrid car market. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.